Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mildly Interesting, beginning with number 19, Raynaud's Phenomenon, Vasospasm. Dude, that's wild. Oh, the gradient is, oh man, how it smoothly goes from the rest of their skin tone into, it looks just like it's, I don't know, their fingers made of ivory, which I want to say, like, actually, before I continue, I hope this isn't, like, some kind of painful thing or a sign of other bad things happening to this person and we're just looking at his oh isn't that mildly interesting i hope that it's just like totally innocuous and and purely aesthetic uh and if not then i'm sorry this is happening but otherwise like how does that is it it can't be that this your skin is translucent right because then you would see veins blood vessels underneath this is like it must be that the skin is just completely opaque white which is fascinating the American Selection at an Irish supermarket. The American Selection. Reese's Puffs. You know, people in other countries must be like, oh, I bet those Americans just all day, every day, or at least for breakfast, munching on Reese's Puffs. I don't know why people in other countries sound American, but you must think that we've all had this. But in reality, I've never tried it. My mom would not let me have it growing up. And But you know what? I'm an adult now. If I wanted to, I could go to the grocery store. I could buy some, and I could have some for dinner. I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> I don't know if I will, but I could try it. But man, when I was a kid, I was like, that's really tempting. They say it's not candy for breakfast, but I'm, how could it not be? Let's be honest with ourselves. The one thing that surprises me is I, I would have thought a lot of these brands would just be available in a lot of international markets, especially like Reese's candy. Pretty sure I've seen them in international markets, but also I'm not very well traveled. The only thing I'm in disagreement about here is LaCroix because I think it's, here's, here, oh boy. Here's the opinion of the day. I think it's kind of mid. All right, controversy uh, initiated and now hopefully done. If you enjoy it, that's fine. I just, uh, I enjoy flavor. And there goes any potential LaCroix sponsorships in the future. This new 16 gigabyte SD card has virtually nothing inside it. Honestly, at this point, I think that all memory cards are basically just micro SD card components put into whatever form factor it needs to be for that type of memory card. I'm probably totally wrong because I don't know uh, computer engineering, but if you can put a terabyte inside of a freaking micro SD card, and that's wild to me that we have reached that point in storage capacity. It's crazy. It can't get much bigger, right, at this point in terms of storage in that small form. Smaller, bigger, it could go either way. Anyway, it, uh, but anyway, it's probably, you know, it's like micro SD card, but in there. And so most of it can just be empty space, but God, it's crazy how far storage has come, you know? My Lego pyramid set came with an extra unlisted piece, an alien ray gun. Oh, well, you know, I mean, obviously the the pyramids were built by aliens. Um, it's only, only explanation. So they're just trying to be uh, historically accurate with including the, the ray gun in there. Or it's like a throwback to Call of Duty Zombies or something like that, where, God, I was so stoked whenever I'd pull the ray gun from the mystery box. And it is crazy to think that was like 15 years ago now. Oh God, dude, it's like half my life. Anyway, oh, those were good, good memories. Get into the highest round possible. And then you'd shoot a zombie too close with the ray gun and it would down you. And you'd be like, but why did you do that? In, in Why did you code that mechanic in? Why did you? You didn't need to. You just make the ray gun not have a drawback. Thank you. <sighs> the amount of caffeine gum that is safe for military members versus civilians. Do not exceed two pieces in three hours or more than four pieces in 24 hours for civilians. Do not exceed 10 pieces in 24 hours for military. I wish I knew how many milligrams of caffeine was in each piece here so I could be like, huh, okay. <laughs> 10 pieces would be a lot. But I'm also, look, I know that people in the military, right, they, they have to do training, but they are people, right? And I'd be inclined to think that biologically, civilian, military person, civilian who does a lot of training and exercise, probably biologically pretty similar <laughs> to where uh, either they're just like, you know, not wanting the civilian to become uncomfortable or they're just like, 
Yeah, this may give you a heart attack <laughs> with this amount of caffeine, but if you gotta stay awake, then you gotta stay awake in the military. So I don't know which way we're skewing here, but again, I do think that like people are people internally for the most part, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. My cheap bread knife broke and had a paring knife cut out of the tang. There are just so many like cooking words here that I've just learned with a paring knife and and the tang, which I can infer via context that this is a, now in the future, when I see a knife of this shape, I'll be like, that's a paring knife. Everybody watching this like, oh my God, dude, really? Seriously? How did you make it this many years? And this, these are not familiar terms. And this is the, I feel like I've heard the word the tang before, but if someone asked me off the cuff, what is the proper name for the handle of a knife? I probably wouldn't have pulled the term out but now I'll never forget it. This is efficient use of materials though. That That's actually like a pretty sick idea. It, you could reduce the cost or just increase the profit margins and most likely no one's ever gonna see that it's not a, a full solid piece of metal. Also, I usually think that it's, a, it's like a slim down piece, but like it would be the center that is, because as it stands right now, that middle clip right there, not really doing a great deal at keeping the, the knife in place, even though it looks it from the little uh, metal piece on the outside, but it's not doing much. But efficient use of resources, you know? Found these tiny white balls with faces on them. Dang. I, yeah, I guess I would have noticed that. I'm trying to think if I saw them, I'd be like, oh, why do they have black spots? And then I'd look a little closer and I'd be like, oh, what the, f what was this used for? <laughs> what did this come from? It almost looks like a uh, silica, anti-moisture packaging and maybe maybe the face is printed on it so that it's like you know how they always say do not consume this please maybe if you open up one of them it, it's actually the the balls inside and they have like very that kind of faces to try to be like yeah it's this is you if you eat us please do not do that the fire on my stove turned green Oh, what sort of, what sort of element have we got that's getting like burned or the electrons are getting excited to the next level in the spectrograph, the frick, I can't remember the word. The, the electron spect, spectrography? We did it in high school chemistry class. And I just, uh, you know, you can like look at the spectrum, right? And you can use it to identify whatever uh, compound uh, is being burned or excited or whatever you want to anyway what what burns green is it a copper bottom copper turns green okay i mean copper would actually that's that's a pretty simple one it's nothing terribly exciting here but yeah maybe it's actually losing its copper which probably isn't supposed to happen but it looks cool we have a vacuum system in the house where you just put a long hose on and it starts sucking okay so a couple questions one like how long have you been here that you you finally decided you know what our house is pretty mildly interesting. We should post this on the subreddit and and see how how people respond. And you got you you got some karma. People did find it mildly interesting. But secondly, I think I've seen this before somewhere. I don't remember where, but I don't actually know if it's is it convenient, right? Cuz with a vacuum, you could have a cordless and then you're just free, good to go. But even if you have a corded one, it seems easier to have a long, skinny electrical cable than it does to have a really long hose <laughs> that is bulky and you have to carry it around from wall plug to wall plug and, you know, clean up a, a big radius if you have a big hose, but it's kind of unwieldy, right? And then even more than that, like if you only have one central vacuum pump, that thing has to work pretty hard to get all the way around the house. And then if it breaks, your house is broken. So it is interesting, but it also, I'm gonna be honest, seems like kind of inconvenient if something goes wrong. But on the other hand though, I would say if it had like an auto way to like just shoot things into the dumpster, that would be pretty cool. Like you don't have to actually empty out the bag. You'd have to clear the filter, I guess, but it'd be really cool if it just automatically sent things into the dumpster. That'd be sick. I logged how every day went in 2023. Great, good, okay, bad, awful. You could like take this into Photoshop and just and just crop this area and tell it to give you like the average color. And then you would know, you'd be like, oh, that is the exact average of how the entire year went. Hey, 
there are quite a few awful days in there, which is unfortunate. But on the other hand, there are quite a few great days. What's interesting is to see when it's like awful back to back with great and it's like just, you know, swings one way to the other. But there aren't too many off. It is usually more gradiented when it goes from, you know, awful to great. All great to awful seems like it would make sense that it could, it, could, it could go from great to awful, but awful to great on the other hand is like, that's a, that's a sick recovery, right? You like to see that because usually it take longer to work your way back out to good from bad than go from, things can always go bad really quick. I'm in a weight loss clinical study and this is the test food I ate. I mean, hey, they did give you two cookies, which is, that's cool. That's pretty sick. I'd be like, hey, not just one. I'm doing this for science and you're giving me not one, but two cookies. I hope the cookies were, were good. Looks a little shiny, which is not how I usually expect <laughs> chocolate chip cookies to look as shiny, but maybe it's got like a nice, nice like glazed coating on it or something like that. That is a lot of carbs, but maybe that is the test is like, okay, how does the weight loss study go when lots of carbs are happening? And it would, well, probably boil down to how many calories is it? Obviously, you know, there's little other fluctuations between people's metabolism, but for the most part, but yes, that is a lot of carbs. I don't have a seat in front of me on my flight. Heck yeah, dude. It's like when you get in the Uber and they've, <laughs> they got the, the dry, the passenger front seat, just like pushed all the way forward and then, and then folded and you're like, oh yeah, I'm in, I'm in style. Granted the seat that I'm in does not recline. So there's really no ability for me to use this ample reclinability space, but yeah, let's go. Hopefully the, it's not a, a 737 max. Otherwise that's a little, it's too close for comfort. Ordered 3X, got a 13X instead. I did not even know that 13X was a thing. I would, I would have kept that just out of, I don't know, interest. Like, <laughs> hey guys, uh, this is wild, dude. Use it as a, a blanket or maybe you just want to be like really comfy. I, I've started um, wearing, okay, someone's gonna say probably because you gained weight or something, but if, I'm, I actually like, I'm lighter than I was when I was wearing mediums as my uh, tops more regularly. I've just decided, I think I liked it because it, it's a little bit more, it, it's more form fitting as a medium, but I've just gotten to the point where I'm just like, nah, it's kind of nice when it's got a little bit of room there. So started going to larges on top, which you're like a kid's large, right? Jardon, cause you're four feet tall. Yes, obviously, you know, kids, kids or babies large. Sorry, let me correct myself. My grandpa gave me a can of oxygen for Christmas. <laughs> Sick dude. 95% <laughs> pure oxygen. <laughs> Grandpa comes in, he's like, uh, yeah, I forgot to get, I forgot to get you something. I'm old. Do I still have to do presents? Really? Still this? Okay. Um, I got oxygen here on the back of the, on the back of the chair. Heck yeah. No, I'm just, this is a good present, right? Hey, here, here kid. Just, uh, don't get it too close to fire. Okay. But otherwise not knock yourself out. Got, you got the, you just, <sighs> right there built-in built-in feature you feel really good <laughs> my bank gave me a roll of brand new pennies from 1964 the, yeah those are probably you know worth a, a good bit more than their face value in in materials no you're not allowed to desecrate currency but yeah I, how did they just have those sitting or like they're in the they finally ran out of all the new rolls in the drawer finally the the teller just like reached all the way back in to the, the drawer of coins, pulled one out, <laughs> reached through a spider web, avoided the black widow that was in the corner, pulled it out, I was like, oh, that one must have been there a while. Anyway, here you go. <laughs> All the way back from 1964. Pretty cool, pretty cool. A letter I wrote to myself 10 years ago. Um, I am probably not gonna read the whole thing, but if you want to, then feel free to pause it and read. I have, as probably a spoiler, you know, for the future, I've thought about doing like a video, hey me in 10 years, and you upload it and you schedule it for 10 years into the future. I know Mr. Beast has, has done that. 
I haven't done it though. So spoiler alert, it's not happening within the next 10 years, at least. <laughs> Maybe after that, you never know. We'll see, <laughs> but it's not been uploaded yet. So um, maybe I should get on that because it would be an interesting thing because I'm sure that no matter how much planning you do, things are bound to turn out differently in 10 years, but hopefully for the better, you hope. Fingers crossed. A letter sent to the brew pub I work at requesting a newly issued coaster. Dear Blank, I am an avid collector of U.S. craft brewery coasters. I understand that you recently issued a new coaster for your brewery. Will you please send me one for my collection? I enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope and $2 for your trouble. Is this someone, like, remotely? They're from another state and they just browse Yelp. Like, oh, that looks like a cool place to get a coaster. I've never been there, but I'd like a souvenir coaster. Also though, is like, I'm pretty sure if it's a nice coaster, it's probably going to exceed the one ounce stamp envelope. Hopefully they've accounted for that in the postage and they are not. And also what if the coaster is more than $2? Then the coaster costs more than $2 than, than there. I feel like you gotta enclose a little more than $2. Cause there's a chance, I don't know what the, I don't know what the pub looks like, but maybe they got like a really fancy metal engraved coaster. Or something. I don't know, man. We're just thinking it could be more than $2. So anyway, we don't know the outcome though. If you sent one, we just know that there was a letter. Maybe this was then just like $2 were removed. Goodbye letter. <laughs> It could have turned out that way. I boiled down five gallons of seawater, and this is all the salt. You know, I've actually often wondered, can you, like, is this good salt? If you grinded it down and it was, you know, little salt crystals like you'd normally have in a restaurant or something, is this actually usable salt um, that you could sell? Do salt companies actually just boil off seawater in order to make their salt. This is probably really easy information to find out with the internet at my fingertips. Yet it is something I thought about and never actually decided to research, but like, I, they, maybe, maybe Big Salt Company, maybe Big Salt it just takes advantage of the ocean and then, you know, easy peasy. There's our product, but I don't know. I mean, I assume at the end of the day, it's all just knackle, right? But I don't know, varying pur purities of it. And the top of the last month, bubbles in my coffee this morning. Is this what I'm missing out on in life by not being a coffee drinker? Maybe it is. Or you also have to wonder how many coffee drinkers out there have, have had their cup of coffee and seen a, a very similar arrangement of bubbles in it, but they never thought to take a photo of it. Or if they did take a photo, they never posted it to Mildly Interesting to become the top post of the last month because of the nice satisfying uniformity of the bubbles, which honestly looks like an oddly satisfying post. But we're here in Mildly Interesting. So just somebody looked at this and was like, God dang it, my coffee looked like this yesterday. I have coffee next to me right now that looks at this. Why, why didn't I post this? I could have had the internet karma points but instead, Fabianoid got it. Sorry, everybody else. <laughs> All right, I hope you have been mildly interested. Make sure to like the video if you were. Subscribe to the channel to stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next time.